We're at Lutheran High School where tonight the Crusaders take on conference rival Cedar Grove. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach Chris Wright. Chris, coming in tonight, uh, Lutheran had a great win over Roosburg. Let's talk about that first. Well, they, you know, they've been preparing for a, a victory like that. They got their work over at Christmas you know, break, playing Racine, Lutheran, and Cuba City, getting set up for that rematch at Oostburg, and to go down there and break that 30-game conference winning streak of Oostburg, it's just got to be a, a rewarding uh, thing for uh, both Sheboygan, uh, Lutheran, and the whole team. I mean, you know, Sam Decker said, yeah, I played eight times it took me to beat those guys, and they got that, that big victory, and, you know, that now puts them in first place in the league, and they just got to take care of business now. They lost a couple games over uh, Christmas break, but since that time, they're undefeated. They've won five in a row. Yeah, they have won five in a row. It, they flipped the schedule now, and tonight it's Cedar Grove. Cedar Grove's a basketball team that really hasn't had any quality wins. They're kind of looking for that quality win. They did, uh, you know, play Oostburg pretty close a couple weeks ago, but then you play teams like Kohler, you win by 10, and they did get a nice victory a couple weeks ago against uh, St. Lawrence uh, Seminary, but they're, they're still looking for that quality win, so it's interesting to see what the Rockets have. One of the things I think Cedar Grove has going for them is they're very senior-laden, and they're balanced in their scoring. Yeah, I was looking at that too, Marty. I mean, they, they do get contributions from a lot of guys, and you know they're athletic. I mean, this is a, a school that has been having a traditional football program, and the last few years their basketball program has been pretty good too, but this year they're just a tad bit down, so I'm interested to see what they can do tonight. One of the things when we talk about uh, Lutheran in the past, we all say, well, they got to find somebody to compliment Sam on the scoring end, and they've got somebody this year. Yeah, Tyler Zastro really stepped up, and I thought a couple weeks ago when we did that Christian game, Marty, when I interviewed Sam, one of the things he said is, you know, we're getting better every week, and we're, we're constantly looking for people to help out a little bit. Well, early in the year, it was Jers helping out a little bit, but now Tyler Zastro is really getting into his own, and... You know, he just lit up Woosburg last week and over Christmas break. And, you know, as the year gets better, those sophomores that, you know, were just young sophomores starting the season are now being old sophomores. And, and really come tournament time, I think that's going to help Lutheran. I think bringing up Juris's name is important, too, because he's a really a good three-point threat. And, you know, when they start to sag in on Sam or any of the other guys that play inside, you know, leave him open, it could be dangerous. Yeah, and they're going to have to, you know, obviously that's what a lot of teams we've seen do all year is they really clog up that middle, and, you know, the Astros hit some of those, and Zerses hit some of those. So, you know, getting contributions from different things is something that, you know, Lutheran's going to have to have, like I said, to get to the tournament and to hold on to this conference title. One of the things that we saw in that Christian game was they put a lot of pressure on the Christian guards. I don't know if they can get away with it tonight, but uh, certainly paid dividends over at Christian. Hopefully they can do that again tonight. Yeah, and I think that's something Coach Decker also said, that you know defense is something that he's always preached a little bit, and Sam mentioned that in the interview as well. He said, you know, our defense is getting better, and you know when they pressure teams, you know, and they got some pretty good size, and Rockets got some pretty good size too, so it's going to kind of equal out a little bit, but you know, obviously guard play is always important. All right, with that, we're going to step out, and when we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's game. my own problems to worry about. Those people in Africa don't want to help themselves. What's the point? Where's the proof? Actually, smart programs are saving lives. In just 10 years, over 15 million more kids are alive. All for less than 1% of the total U.S. budget. How's that for proof? And today there are new vaccines that could save millions of more kids. Go to one.org and join the movement. We're not asking for your money. We're asking for your voice. Hello? Hello? I've been on the street for a while. I've been on the street for a while. I saw your post on our site. I saw your post on our site. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. National Runaway Switchboard, how can I help? Call 1 800 Runaway to make the connection. Best sex I've ever had. The details are kind of fuzzy, but I know it started off in the kitchen because there were definitely mashed potatoes involved. Her leg was like here, and her head was like here. I still don't know how a human body could do that. I think she used to be in a circus or something. But the most important part about the best sex I've ever had was that it was consensual and it was protected. Very crazy three days, though. <laughs> 
One of the healthiest and most popular activities a family can do together is hiking. Speaking of health, this year the U.S. Departments of Agriculture and Health and Human Services issued an advisory urging all Americans to eat seafood twice a week for heart health. Environmentally speaking, it's best to choose seafood that's low on the food chain, like brizzling sardines, mackerel, or rockfish. To keep the environment beautiful, observe outdoor ethics, leave no trace, and help keep America beautiful. Back at uh, Lutheran High School, they're getting ready to uh, introduce the uh, starting lineups for tonight's game. Cedar Grove comes in seven and six, four and five in conference. Travis Abank is a starter. Josh Ruppel, he's starting tonight. Jonathan Herzog, number 22, Kyle Kirst, and number 34, Lucas Cott. All four of those uh, young men are seniors. We mentioned in our opening that they're a very senior-laden team, and that's certainly the case if you look at the starting lineup. And now for the Crusaders, Lutheran High School coached by uh, Todd Decker. Lutheran comes in 11 and three, eight and one in conference, uh, beating Lewisburg the other night, 70, 67 to 61. Nick Redeker, number 35, he's a senior. Number 32, Tyler Zastro is a sophomore. Uh, we had mentioned he is a uh, second leading scorer on the team, averaging 16.2 uh, points per game. Phil Leipom, another sophomore starting. He's averaging a little over five a game. Josh Wheeler, a senior. Wheeler averaging 7.6 points per game. And then number one, big Sam Decker. Decker averaging a state leading 31 points per game. Cedar Grove is coached by uh, Jim Minan and a uh, familiar assistant over on that bench, Chris. Uh, <laughs> Freddie Forsterling. Uh, Fred did some coaching over at the uh, North and South, and uh, now he's out in Cedar Grove. Very good uh, basketball coach, Marty. In uh, JV action earlier tonight, Lutheran High School uh, easily won over the Cedar Grove Rockets. Our officials tonight, there's uh, Todd Decker and Mike Theobald and uh, Nick Verhage. Uh, Steve Steiner, Russ Miller tossing it up at center court, and Ben Rank are the officials tonight. I don't know why he jumped the ball, Chris. <laughs> he was gonna get the tip anyway. And the criticism starts. <laughs> Cedar Grove in a man-to-man -man defense. Decker has it on top. Over to Zastro. It looked like they could have got it inside, but chose not to. Redeker has it. Good feed inside. Decker for an easy two. Lutheran coming in at 73 points a game. They're not going to get there at uh, taking a minute off the clock, but good patience by uh, Lutheran. And when you can get a, a one-foot shot, uh, I think we'll take that. Oh, yeah. Kirst has it on the wing over to uh, Herzog. A good strip by uh, Zastro, but uh, Cedar Grove gets it back. Wild shot attempted by Abink is no good. And Decker on the bust out slams it home. Four to nothing, Lutheran. Is that cherry picking? Not at this level. When you're old and you do it, that's another thing. But at this level, no. The ball goes out of bounds off the hands of Josh Ruppel. Well, Marty, you mentioned uh, good balance scoring. You know, 11 points, 11 points, 10 points, 8 points, 6 points. You went further down the list. I got two 11s, a 10, and an 8, and I stopped. <laughs> Lob pass, way off the mark. Good idea. Uh, Redeker was setting the back screen on that, but uh, pass was off the mark. It would have been a very easy two. Yeah, you work on that, and you know that play call, and then got the easy opportunity and just 
A little cool. too much air. Lutheran also playing a man-to-man -man defense, starting off. That shot was attempted by Abank. He couldn't get it in, and Decker got the rebound. Shot from the corner is good by Wheeler. There's another guy we didn't mention in the opening, Josh Wheeler, averaging eight points a game. He can hit those threes, as we saw it there. Last time we were here, I think he had three or four, Marty. Wheeler, one of the uh, three seniors that starts for uh, Lutheran. And Redeker comes up with the loose ball, and then Zastro almost had it tipped away, and then he did oh. get it tipped away. Lazy throw there. Layup attempt is uh, good by Kirst. And Cedar Grove is on the board. <clears throat> John Herzog guarding uh, Decker. Drawing a lot of attention. Nice bounce pass. Good pass inside, yes, you're right. Redeker shot, sh Redeker shot was off the mark. Yeah, he could have little, taken a little more time and squared himself up. He had good position there. Herzog's shot from the wing is no good, but they uh, come away with the loose ball. Ruppel in the right place at the right time. Abink, three-point attempt is good. He's their leading scorer, 11 and a half. Cedar Grove, 12 and 12 a year ago. At the 500 mark about this year, too. The left-handed Zastro pops one in the break, a five-point run. Nine to five, Lutheran on top. Decker with a block. Sastro going hard to the basket. Around and out. But he did draw the foul. It looked like it could have gone either way, Chris. Yeah, I agree. Well, when these teams met way back in December 2nd, it was a 77-55 victory for uh, Sheboygan Lutheran. As Marty mentioned, uh, Lutheran comes in 11-3, 8-1 in the league. They're ranked number 10 in Division 5. Their three losses are all to uh, ranked opponents. We're seeing Lutheran, number one in Division 5. You want to tell Mr. Minant the movie is in my way? <laughs> uh, Cuba City is ranked number two in Division 2, and Oostburg ranked 10th in Division 3. Sastro hits one out of two. It's 10-5. Abink on the cut through, but a reach in by uh, Zastro, and he commits the foul. Well, I agree with the foul, but there's no way he was shooting. He just caught the ball and got it slapped, but they're going to say two shots here. Travis Abink on the line, shooting a pair. Any good shot there, Travis. Eric Wiesman giving you that shot. Richard Bartson giving you that shot right there. Scott Mayloff in the truck, spinning the dials. Chris Wright giving you the color, and I'm the play-by-play -play guy. All the way back from Arizona, huh, Marty? Yeah. My arms are tired, it was a long flight. <laughs> Decker, it's fouled on the way through. That kid only made one out of two, huh, Chris? Thought he made both free throws. Three and a five, nope, one out of two. Hmm. Not a shooting falls. called in the lane. Foul goes on uh, Nick Redeker. 
They called a moving screen there. I don't agree with that either. <laughs> yeah. I guess I don't agree with much. Yeah, it looked like Decker just came up the lane. And yeah, and Redeker just whistle. went there and being a little bigger, set a screen. Now, this isn't freshman basketball. This is the varsity basketball. I didn't see any full arm push or shove or anything, but he uh, said it was a moving screen. First he said it was a moving screen, and then he said it was an elbow throw, so who knows? Either way. A little action going on inside between Cott and Redeker. Zaster with the good hands. And that foul is going to go on Redeker. That'll be his second. Yeah, get that first one in that time. Uh, good hustle by Luther in trying to get the loose ball, but that opened up uh, the lane there for Herzog. And then Redeker had to foul him there. It's interesting, you know, we're very fortunate. We sit right courtside and uh, we're right next to the Usberg, uh, Usberg Cedar Grove bench. All the same down there, right? Lewisburg, Cedar Grove. And anyway, and then you can hear the coaches over on the Lutheran side and uh, they give the referees an earful, don't they, Chris? Yeah, they do. Ten to eight all of a sudden, Marty. Yeah, you're right there. Another pass off the mark. And Chris Wright with a good save. Had a good save in warm-ups too, Chris, by the way. <laughs> Hey, there's Chris and Mike. Look at those guys. A couple Happy to be here, and the house yeah. is full of people we know. Denny Bell. Moyer's here, and C Coach Schumann's here. Decker, down the lane. Jimmy Schwalbe's in the house. We or saw down the baseline, I should say, yeah. but yeah, Schwalbe's Tim, here. Yep, Timmy Moyer's here. When's Schwalbe gonna show up at basketball? More shots for you, Marty. Uh, it's a good point. <clears throat> Nice move. Whoa, what a spin move that was. That looks Kyle sharp. Kyle Kirst. Six foot senior. Try to stop me now. Oh, nice crossover there by Zastro. Two good moves on both ends of the floor there. Good hesitation there by Zastro. And just drove to the basket. Zastro having his troubles at the line. He was one for two on the first trip. Missed the first one that other trip and he's gonna have to make this one to uh, shoot 50% from the line. Crawl that one in, 13 to 10. Two minutes left in the first quarter. Cedar Grove uh, hanging right in there. Yeah, I was just thinking that, Marty. It looked like it was going to be a blowout. They jumped out, Lutheran did, to a 7 nothing lead, and then Cedar Grove came up with uh, five straight. Good pressure on the shot that time by uh, Hess. Lutheran has it. Oh, good shot that time by Jers. Some Not a three-pointer. Nope, and some people forget he's just a freshman. Herzog forcing it inside, got it up and in off against uh, Hess. You know, he used his strength there and body and just attacked the defender there. Decker off the glass and in again. Having a nice first quarter. Eight points so far. Eight out of the 17, it's 17 to 12, under a minute. Lutheran in a zone now, Chris. What's up? They used this a little bit down at Christmas time. Remember that. Twenty seconds left. A good help defense by uh, Zastro. 
Ball tipped out of bounds. Josh Ruppel coming back in. Lucas Cott coming out. Spencer Bars came in while we weren't looking. He's number three. A shot is blocked. Decker's got it. Nice bounce pass to Zastro for two. Good unselfishness there. Ball stolen away. The shot at the buzzer is no good by Juris, but a little flurry there at the end by Lutheran. And they end the quarter with a 19 to 12 lead. Want to help? Make it easy on everyone. Send cash, the most effective form of disaster relief. CIDI.org. Hey, back at uh, Lutheran High School, the Crusaders lead by seven. It's 19 to 12, uh, but Cedar Grove hung in there, Chris. I mean, I was impressed. They played uh, pretty good first quarter basketball. Considering Lutheran shooting 80% from the floor, you're you know? right, that'd be down just seven. Exactly. Good cut by Abink. Shot is no good, but Herzog high above the crowd to get the rebound, but he loses it. Jersh gives it off to Decker, who almost had it taken away. Decker down the baseline, scores again. That's 10 for him. He leads the state in scoring at 31 a game. Led the state in scoring a year ago. Inside feed, the shot is up, but no good by John Herzog, and then there's a whistle. Second leading scorer in the state is Joel Hesch. He's from Mawson, he's a, C a junior. He's at 26 points. And uh, Takoto, who's going to North Carolina, is third in scoring. He's at Menominee Falls. He is a senior, he's at 26. So Sam at 30.31. Looking doing, good. Looking good to be, take that title again. Did you John, catch what all that discussion was? No, I didn't. I thought it was, had something to do with the clock, but uh, they were synced up. Herzog missed his first free throw attempt. Decker picked up that last foul, by the way. Oh, uh, sure. I thought they called it on Hess. Yep, that's what they did. Now it's up on the board. Nice, nice pass. pass. Yeah, and Decker, not to be denied, flushes it. Lutheran up by 10. That was just a nice seal by Decker and a great bounce pass. No hesitation on that pass either. No, nope, it's a couple good ones. I thought the one by uh, Sam at the end of the first quarter was a dandy because he could have just taken it himself and slammed it home, but he gave it up and got it to his uh, teammate. Yep. Oh, ooh, ooh, no weak side help for Luther that time, and they're uh, in trouble. I watched Zastro. He was very lazy on the cut through. He didn't uh, yep. try to deny or get in front of his guy. He just let him go where he wanted. Juris, his shot was blocked, and then we get a foul on Jacob. Well, I like the fact that he went to the hole. Obviously, the scouting report is he's a three-point shooter. We've seen him now underneath a little bit. There's nothing wrong with that. Here you're going to see the flush. 
Boom. High percentage there. Yep, a little bit of a bust out here. Bear, Bars had it, got it up to Herzog, who put it up and in. Not a good job of getting back that time by the Crusaders. Hess going hard to the hoop. Got the, sh oh, they're gonna call the foul on the floor, no shot. Foul goes on Bars. There's a walk. I think they tried to create a clear out for Sam Decker, but. Uh, I think you're right. But. Uh, remember that playground. Yeah, Jacob, Jacob play. went the uh, wrong way on the uh, play. And if, you know, if he's covered, I'm sure he's going to get some type of shot coming on the opposite side, not on the same side. Good pressure D by Zastro. Yeah. Outside shot is no good by Ruppel. Decker with the rebound, long lead feed is out of bounds, trying to get uh, Wheeler on the deep pass, but uh, a little too much. That's three bad passes now for uh, Lutheran. See a girl six of 15 from the floor. Have to shoot a little better if you're gonna win in this house tonight. Yeah, we're only down five, and Lutheran uh, slowed down a little bit. That's off. It's Astro shot. Yeah, we had a good line on that. I didn't think that was a good decision either. Juris picks up another foul, his second. Coming back in is uh, Phil Leipom. Twenty-three to seventeen, five ten remaining until halftime. It's been uh, Lutheran in the lead the entire game. The Crusaders had a seven-point lead at the end of one. A good drive through the basket. Shot no good. The first one put back is up and good by Herzog. But I'll tell you, cursed is uh, been a force in there. Yeah, tipping balls away. Attacking a little bit, it's doing a real nice job. It's now 23 to 19. And 30 Co second timeout by Luther. Yeah, hey, wake the boys up a little bit. You can't just stroll through victories. You brought up a good point, Chris, earlier in the, in the quarter when uh, I think it was Herzog took his man right down the baseline and just muscled him up and in. And uh, as long as they don't get Lutheran, that is, doesn't provide help for some of those guys underneath. It's going to be like that. They got to play smarter. And I think it brought up a really good point. They got to play a lot harder. Good Cedar, music tonight. Yep. Cedar Grove's been up and down there. Win one, lose one, win three, lose two, win one, lose three, win two. So they're on the upper part of the. Uh, the consistent part is they're inconsistent. <laughs> Good trap. Yeah, triple teamed. Decker. Oh my. Stop that. Best way to attack a trap is to uh, find the open man and take it to the rack. Uh, and that's what he did. 14 points. Abink having a tough time against uh, Zastro, but uh, pumping in the long one was Bars. He's averaging six points a game. Get half of it right there. Bad pass. Good steal by Abink. Takes it in. Couldn't get it, but he's fouled. And that's Hess's second foul. And the fouls are starting to mount on Lutheran. It's number seven. And that means two free throws plus bonus for the Rockets. Abink makes the first free throw.
Couldn't get the second one. 25-23. Decker from 14, pops it in. He's been a man out there. Herzog has it stolen away from Zastro. He's taking it at the big man and lays it up and in. Every time that the Rockets get a little close, back come the Crusaders, and it's a good thing. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Feed inside to Abank. Again, not good defense by Zastro. Abank three for eight tonight. Three-pointer by Decker. His first three-pointer of the night. That looked sweet. Bars couldn't quite match him, but Herzog, the animal in there, puts it up and in. Better get a man on, better get a body on that man. Shot inside is no good by Wheeler. Inside to Decker, he gets fouled, no call, and missed the shot. He got wrapped on the head. Abank being guarded by Zastro. <laughs> A good strip that time by Hess, otherwise uh, Herzog would have had another two. Boy, oh boy. They're yelling over here about a hand check, and on the other side, Todd Decker's yelling about a wrap to the head. That's the first miss that uh, Sam has had. It's in the two games we've had him, and that time he was fouled, so it shouldn't have been a miss. Zastro tapping it up, but uh, Zastro tips it in. Uh, pardon me, Decker tipped it in. Cedar Grove thought it was a... Uh, Zastro with a basket. Cedar Grove thought that uh, Decker interfered. And now we get a timeout by Cedar Grove. It's 36-27, Scott. Got a little bit away from the officials, I think, Marty. I think, you know, Sam got plunked, and then there was some contact down there. And, you know, now it's getting back and forth. And, you know, both coaches have things to discuss, and it's better that they just uh, walk away. Jim Minen, uh, very gonna see the lob shot, and uh, it's pretty close. I mean, that, uh, you see that again, Scott? And there's the steal, and a kiss off the glass. Yeah, the intent was supposed to be a pass. Uh, Zastro did not intend for it to go and uh, knock off the, uh, the uh, rim. Did you have one of those on Friday, a couple weeks ago? Yeah, but it went in through the hoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here it is. Let's see if it's a goaltending. Uh, I would say, yeah. <laughs> well, it was coming off the back. Hey, Scott, why didn't we have that in slow mo, man? Come on. <laughs> By the way, I love the graphic with the WSCS. That's yeah, awesome. New logo. That uh, Sheboygan logo for the city, used by us. Very nice. Lutheran back in the zone, Chris. Bars stepping right up. Say, give me that shot, I'll take it. Oh, Wheeler couldn't catch the pass. Lipom with the good look. Wheeler's got to catch that ball. <clears throat> good shot right there. Sam Decker coming down right into your living rooms. Yep. <laughs> Are we 3D yet? <laughs> Eric Wiesman's getting right in there in the meat. Now well, Wheeler, good anticipation there. They knew they'd be looking for Herzog. Seventh turnover on the Rockets. Zastro with a three. He's lighting it up. He's five of six tonight, Marty. 12 point lead by the Crusaders. And another turnover, maybe. Almost. Kirst got uh, the ball back. Lucas caught back in the game. K 
Kick out pass to Abing, going baseline. Kicks it back out to Ruppel, his shot is off, no good. Decker with the long hands, got it, and then he gets tied up. Good hustle that time by Kirst. Possession arrow belongs to the Crusaders, so they'll keep it. Under a minute left until halftime, 37 seconds exactly. Uh, it's dangerous to get it in there. Zastro from 10, couldn't get it. Decker, working hard, he gets fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. His first trip to the line. Foul goes on Herzog, Chris. He cannot pick up his third. No, 26.9 seconds left, two. <laughs> 22 points, Chris, for uh, Sam in his first half. Looking for 23 right here. He's got eight rebounds too, Marty. I bet he has a double-double before we're done. 13 point lead by the Crusaders, 40 to 27. Ten seconds. Ruppel gets it inside to Cott. His 10 footer is no good. Wheeler gets the board. Zastro on a cherry pick gets two right at the buzzer. At halftime, the Crusaders lead it by 15, 42 to 27. You can't text and pay attention to the world around you, and you definitely can't text and drive. Every year, deaths due to distracted and negligent driving are increasing. In fact, while drunk driving rates have dropped greatly, negligent driving fatalities have skyrocketed. Find out more at negligentdriving.com. Each small beauty we experience each discovery we enjoy is our responsibility to share with generations to come. To share your gift, visit earthshare.org. Back here at Lutheran High School, just getting ready to uh, start second half action. First half scoring, let's go with Cedar Grove first. Travis Abink, their uh, nice guard, had nine. Spencer Bars off the bench had three. Uh, Jonathan Herzog, number 13, was a real force for them. Uh, he had 11. Kirst had four. For uh, the Crusaders, Sam Decker led all scorers with 22. Right behind him was Tyler Zastro with 15. Josh Wheeler had a three-pointer in early in the first quarter, and Jacob Juris off the bench had two. Getting ready to start second half action. Lutheran on top by 15. It got away from uh, Cedar Grove there towards the end of that uh, second yeah. quarter. Let me see here. Two, four, seven, eight, ten-point run to end the, the half. And 18 for 26 shooting, Marty, for Lutheran. That's just two, outstanding. Yeah. Ten of 26 for uh, Cedar Grove. Poor shot by Kirst is no good, but he comes away with the ball. And uh, all kinds of hands touching the ball, but none of the uh, Crusader players could get it. And again, uh, the Rockets of Cedar Grove are gonna keep it. Cedar Grove, Belgium, pardon me. First get, got it inside to Herzog, but he wasn't able to do much with it, and then uh, Zastro tips it out of bounds. I tell you, Tyler Zastro's got quick hands, Chris. Yeah, he's really, really improved throughout the year, and we're very fortunate to see Lutheran quite a bit, to, so to see his development. Uh, still just a young sophomore. 
Lutheran had a very good JV team last year. You know, it wasn't, you know, I understand that Sam's a good player, but he needed support, and he's got some good ones. Herzog down the baseline for two. Big half for the big two. Decker 11 for 12, Her and uh, Zastro 6 for 8. 17 for 20 for the big two. Zastro got pushed after the shot, no call. And it goes off of uh, Nick Redeker. Redeker in foul trouble. Didn't see as much action as he probably liked. Herzog for Cedar Grove has two. Juris, Hess, and Redeker each have two fouls for uh, the Crusaders. Good movement. Shot is blocked. Ruppel had his shot blocked on that one. He's 0 for 3 tonight. Decker's foot was on the line. Shot is no good. Ruppel again. Got it. Three-pointer. Got one down. All of a sudden, that 15-point lead is down to 10. Herzog working hard. Lightpalm down the lane. Had his shot blocked, and Herzog's going to pick up the foul. That's a big one. I don't know about that. Third foul, and he picks it up early in the second half. See how uh, Coach Minan handles this, Chris. He doesn't have anybody coming off the bench right now. You know, sometimes this... The situation, the game situation, kind of forces your hand, and I think in this case he almost has to keep him in. I agree with you. When you're behind, you got to, you know, say if you come back a little bit, you can maybe pull, but you need your horses out there because otherwise it's just going to get away. Good live hands by Zastro. Redeker on Cot did a good job there. Step back jumper by Herzog is no good. Hurst on the rebound, put it up and in. Poor rebounding, uh, defensive rebounding, I guess you could say, for uh, Lutheran today. Too many offensive rebounds for Cedar Grove. Play a team like Howard's Grove and those big guys, they might catch you. Sastro shot is no good, but Decker's right there to clean up the mess. Going to the second column early in the third quarter. Oh, cursed. Prayers are answered. Decker couldn't get it. Couldn't get it again. Had a nice look both times, a tip back. But a good effort, too. What an effort. What an effort to go and get that by Sam. I mean, that was outstanding. I mean, that's just quick hops, not giving up on it. Zastro fouled on the way in. I don't think he'll be shooting free throws. No, they say he stepped on the line. No. Ooh, a little wraparound action maybe. Oh, they had us all fooled. Wheeler picking up the foul on a block along the baseline, allowing Zastro to get to the hoop. one only a referee would see. He'd get kicked out of the gym if you call that on Friday night, Friday after school. Wheeler's lob pass to Decker. His dunk attempt is no good. Herzog with the rebound. And he was undercut. Yeah. Ruppel's layup is good. And we get a whistle. Timeout. With this timeout, it's uh, 46 to 38. Cedar Grove making a run again, Chris. Holy cow. They're on a 6-2 run. Get back in the game. Our next game isn't going to be until uh, next Saturday, Chris. There's another little bit of a break. It's going to be on Saturday, February 4th, when uh, North travels down to the south side. 
to uh, play the uh, north-south game. We'll have the girls game starting at six and then the boys game following that. Both girls programs doing outstanding and of course the north boys right in the mix yet. WSCS Sports and all local programs are viewable on demand at wscssheboygan.com. Click on programming, select VOD player, and then select the appropriate menu item. I was on there this uh, afternoon making sure I had my announcement right, and it's uh, pretty slick. I was looking at it when last time we had, uh, when we first came out with it. Curse picks up that foul. Lutheran just one of seven to start the third quarter. We're uh, halfway through. Decker is going to get fouled on the floor on the way in. Ball is going to go on Josh Ruppel his first. That's the third team foul on uh, Cedar Grove. Good step in help by Abink. But that left Wheeler open for a three point attempt and he buried it. Danny Campion and Shaq Francis in the house sit behind us. They'll be participating at North South game. We really look forward to doing these games and uh, especially the North South games. Ruppel being guarded by Wheeler. Zastro coming across again late. And uh, picks up the foul. Shot of uh, the back of uh, Tyler Zastro. He has two fouls now. Ruppel open. Shot is no good. Nick Redeker comes away with the board. Good ball movement. Yes, sir. -y. And a good pass off by uh, Tyler Zastro to uh, Sam Decker, and he's fouled. I don't like that teamwork. All goes on Lucas Cott. Seen a lot of good passing by Lutheran tonight, Marty. Taking that extra pass to the open person. But uh, Lutheran's got to shoot a little bit better at the line. Five out of nine, six out of ten. 50 to 38. Not out of the woods yet. No. Good Herzog. job. Reverse layup attempt by Herzog is up and in. Very impressed with that guy, Marty. Yeah, you and me both. Lutheran calls another timeout, their second timeout of the quarter. It's a full timeout, Scott. Why don't you take us to a commercial break? Don't you just love running water? It's like a little tiny waterfall with a tiny whirlpool. Like a whirlfall. Yeah, we just made up a new word. That happened. The moment using water becomes wasting water. Majesty. It gets weird. Get normal by visiting wastingwateriswierd.com. Just yelling over at the uh, North players. We're on the World Wide Web. WSCS Sheboygan, Chris and Mike on demand. That is actually kind of scary. But it's kind of cool too. <laughs> Marty. <laughs> Remember you click on programming and then VOD player. <laughs> and uh, click on sports. There it is. Hey, way to go, Scott. Now if we get this truck, maybe we can do live every time we're out here. That would be even nicer. They get that big dish on top. Go right into the homes every time we have a game. I think that'd be nice for the community. Redeker wanted it inside, but uh, Tyler Zastro didn't put it there. Zastro pop back jumper is no good. Herzog high for the board. Kirst has it. 
His sixth rebound, Herzog. Abink throws it up and in. A horse shot. Yeah, that's exactly right. And it's uh, only an eight point lead again by the Crusaders. Yeah, they just don't go away. Rolling down to the two minute mark of the third quarter, it's 50 to 42. Decker fouled on the way in, got pushed to the ground, couldn't get it in. Ruppel, foot on the line. No, they're going to get it. Gave him a three, but he couldn't get it to go. And a travel call. I think that was a good call too, Chris. He was looking up the floor, wanted to throw it to Zastro and hesitated a little bit, and uh, that caused the travel. There's that three-point attempt. That's no good. You're going to see. Yeah, he did it a little bit late. Back to live action. And the Rockets with a little pressure. <laughs> One guy. We're not letting you have it, Zastro. Yeah. Sam asking uh, his dad, Todd, what do you want me to run? Todd told him, score a basket. Yep, they bumped him. Yeah, cursed. Uh, Playing the tight D, but a little bit too tight that time. And uh, for Kyle, that's his third foul. Yeah, he's just riding them there. It's okay to foul him around, but uh, you just can't ride him. Decker in the lane again. Couldn't get it, but tips it up and in. Hobbing being guarded by Zastro. Ruppel being guarded by Wheeler. Abink. Wow. Looking, looking, looking. Didn't get the three point call, so he thought, oh, I'll shoot it then. And he had put it up and in. Back to within 12. Back to within eight. Oh, wow. Lots of contact. Caught on the foul. Sam Decker will go to the line to shoot two. For Lucas Cott, that's his second. Gee whiz, boys. Gotta be better. Well, free throw shooting has not been good tonight. Got that one in. 53-44, under a minute left in the third quarter. Sam yes. asking his guys to get a stop here. Good leadership. And number one is talking out there too. He's got to relax, get back into the lane, into the paint. Caught with a fadeaway, put it up and in. As you would say, another country heard from. Seven point game, Marty. Yeah, under 20 seconds. Don't want to score too early. Or not, well, I'll score any time, but Make sure you score, I guess, would be the better thing. Decker with a real nice move down the lane. Five. Passes blocked. Ruppel at the buzzer. No good. And we're at the end of three quarters of play with Lutheran on top. Some people might think that Adrian would never be able to go to college like his brother or achieve his dream of being an actor. 
we couldn't disagree more. We're the ARC, and we believe everyone should have the opportunity to realize their full potential. The ARC stands up for those in need, advocating for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. I want to be a professional actor. So they can be anything they want to be. If you need help, or if you want to help, visit us at www.thearc.org. Sam Decker has 30 points through three quarters. Uh, Tyler Zastro scoreless in that quarter, still has his 15 points. Lutheran with only four baskets in the third quarter. For the game, they're seven for 12 from the line. Decker from outside the line nails a three. He's got 33 now. He's 15 of 22 from the floor. And that bumps the lead back up to 12. And now they're 23 of 40, Lutheran it is. Lutheran uh, sitting in a zone right now. They finished out the third in that zone and open with it again here in the fourth. Kirst and uh, Cott gonna check in for uh, the Rockets and uh, Zastro for uh, the Crusaders. Coming out is uh, Adam Shire and uh, Spencer Bars. And we haven't seen much of Spencer in that third quarter, Chris. Cott off the bench pops in another two. He's two of five tonight. Two in a row though. Yeah. They're just not going away. Fighting hard to Cedar Grove guys. Now I know why they played uh, Oostburg pretty close. Only lost by 13 last time out. Wheeler likes that spot, couldn't get it in. Abing shot is no good. Push on Cott. Good eyes, Chris. That's the seventh foul on seventh foul on uh, Lutheran. Just two yet. Uh, excuse me, on Cedar Grove. Just two on Crusaders. Crusaders, but they got three up there. Should be just two, I believe. There's a free throw made. I was thinking of Wheeler taking that shot from the corner. You know who that reminds me of? That 6'5 guy that used to play here that shoots only the threes. What's his name, Powers? <laughs> Drew Powers. <laughs> oh, Drew and Grant said they were watching us. Yeah. And we were talking about them. That's why I thought I'd bring it up again. <laughs> 60 to 48, Lutheran on top. Juris has uh, four points on the night. Good kick out to Kirst, but the Redeker quick to get over to cover up the shooter. Guy we haven't heard much of here in the second half has been Herzog, Chris. Kirst, rainbow shot, bounces straight up and through, and it's a three pointer. Back to nine. I think it hit the wire, I see it moving. I was wondering about that. Decker kicks it out. Yeah, nice movement to the ball. Juris open from three, couldn't get it in. Good box out there by... Uh, the Ruppel? Yep. All the Rockets were on the glass. All, almost thrown away, right behind Zaster, he picks it up. Put his head down. Over the back. Yeah, you got to call that. Sastro of six for eight in the first half. Missed all four here, Marty, in the second half. Uh, this last shot was definitely a force. Probably could have stopped at the free throw line and checked out the uh, situation a little better. Zastro hustling that time. I'll bet Coach talked to him a little bit on those cut throughs through the lane because uh, Abing, for the most part, uh, has not been contested when he cuts through, but that time he was. Well, I thought Abing didn't go hard to the basket. He, if he would have darted instead of just jogged through it, he may have beaten him again, huh? Yep. <laughs> uh, 
Abeg for three. He's three of four now in the half. Six of 14 in the game. Yeah, they got it back down to six. Big possession, I think, for uh, Lutheran. Yeah, I agree, Chris. I think this is a time where uh, Sam's a little better off to uh, try to get him the basketball close to the basket. Wheeler says, I'll take care of business. Yeah, Don't instead. worry about it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or just make a three. <laughs> just, just give it over here. Number five will take care of it. <laughs> and he did for the third time tonight. Yeah, he's three for four from out there. He, Wheeler's problem is he doesn't shoot enough. Ooh. Which time? Yeah, well, we give him two, but we're going to call it on the third, and they do. And that one's going to go on Travis Abink and... Uh, <laughs> of the three wraps, he got the least of the hard wrap. Oh, oh my gosh. Redeker comes away with the board and then throws it in the backcourt and it'll go out of bounds, won't matter. I'll tell you. Expect more out of Sam at the free throw line. Yep. And he knows it. Lutheran by nine. And back to the zone. Uh, no, 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 no. It was supposed to be a man to man. I think they got mixed up on the defense, but Redeker with a good block out got the board and then lost it and caught fighting him for it. And we get a tie up situation. Good hustle by both players. Redeker and Cott. And uh, the Cruz, pardon me, the Rockets are going to have it. <laughs> Ruppel has it on the wing, fires it up from a good distance outside the line and banks it off, and he doesn't even smile. Sixty-three fifty-seven. Three thirty-five left in the game. Redeker gets it in the Decker. He's fouled on a shot and puts it in, but they're going to say no shot. Go to the line, shooting the one and one. Are you basketball fans out there? You should come out here on the fourteenth. When uh, Sheboygan Falls comes here, Sheboygan Falls having an outstanding year. Eric Spielman's squad ranked in the top 10. Be another nice game. Decker with another miss, and uh, Ruppel had a look at a three and passed it up, kicks it out to Herzog. And he's fouled by Decker. I think Sam's problem there, Chris, was swatting down. You know, just yeah. go straight up. Just the fourth team foul on Lutheran. John Herzog at the line shooting a pair. Lutheran's in the double bonus. But they got to start making some free throws. Or uh, it doesn't matter how many trips you take there. Actually, that is the first free throw attempt by Cedar Grove in the second half. Lutheran has gone to the line enough. They just haven't connected. Down to five points. Herzog guarding Wheeler and Ruppel guarding uh, Decker. Under three minutes, Marty. Yeah. Clock ticking down. You certainly would like to get points this possession. Well, we saw this on the opening drive. <laughs> and we got a little two-footer by Decker. Chris, 
creating space is Lutheran. That's why they're not getting a five count. There's a bump. And a bump by uh, Travis Abank. That's going to be his third. And from now on, Lutheran will be shooting two. Lutheran just uh, two of five in the quarter. Uh, few goal percentage and free throws, not much better. <laughs> All right, we got a full timeout, Scott. Lutheran on top, 64-58. Have you heard? Scam artists are trying to trick seniors into giving them their Medicare numbers. I heard that. This happened to my friend. A man came to her door wanting to sign her up for the new Medicare program. Well, when she got her Medicare summary notice, it was full of charges for services she hadn't received. So I did something about it. I joined the Senior Medicare Patrol where I teach others to protect their Medicare numbers, review statements to spot false charges, and report suspected Six Cedar Grove is six and nine free throw shooting for the game. Now Zastro has one coming up right now. Lutheran has made ten of seventeen. They got a chance to bump it up to eleven of eighteen. If they can make a free throw, but uh, from this point on, Lutheran's got to do a little better at the line. Well, and they're going to obviously foul. Uh, Two twenty-six left. If I'm Lutheran, I'm looking for. Uh, you know, those three-pointers, you don't want those to fall, but I'll tell you what, I've been very impressed with Herzog underneath as well. You know, on the flip side, uh, somebody's got a wide open layup, it wouldn't, pay, wouldn't be necessarily a bad idea to fall. There you see John Schumann and... Kenny Moyer. Yeah, the city of Sheboygan's here. They're all here. There you go. Hey, 11 of 18 from the line, and now it's 65-58. Lutheran back to a man-to-man -man defense. A good defense that time, but uh, Kirst on the spin move got it up and in. Light palm couldn't stop him. <laughs> they don't go away, do they? No, I. You know, for oh, being seven know. and six, you know they're all right. They're pretty, pretty impressed. Yeah. Guys like Kirst and uh, Ruppel and uh, Abink, and then you throw in uh, Herzog in there in the middle, and you know they're pretty impressive. Two minutes left in the game, and uh, Herzog falls Wheeler. For uh, Herzog, that's his fourth. Yeah, it was not a good foul there, Chris. Not you don't want him committing a foul. No. So, sure, you play a little offense, defense, you know, if you get a chance. Yeah, good point, Chris. And they could have made that change because they had uh, their guy shooting a free throw down here. Stepping up in the clutch. Two minute warning. Two minutes. Wheeler having a nice night. Seven point Lutheran lead. Herzog, good job that time by uh, Stecker going straight up, committing the foul was Abank. that'll be his fourth. Well, Herzog pretty close to putting that in over Decker. Yeah. It just rolled out there and there's three black shirts there but Zastro had the position. And because he had the position, ladies and gentlemen, he got fouled. Boy, they're banging them now. Yes, they are. Five in a row? Yes, sir. Five in a row. Could be four in a row by uh, Zastro and then Clutch. two more by Wheeler. 69 60. 145. Wheeler, right idea, but he was late. Zast uh, Ruppel outside the line nails a three. And a quick timeout. 
And Todd Decker saying, what are you doing? Yeah, they're, you know, gambled on the steal, but when you gamble on the steal, leaves the other four men scrambling. And when they're scrambling, somebody's gonna be open in there. For Ruppel was open, and he was outside the three-point line, which hurt even more. The pull was within six. Just play straight up good defense. You don't have to take chances when you're leading by nine. Our next basketball game is going to be Saturday, February 4th, when Sheboygan North travels down to the south side. Not very often Darth Vader crosses the 8th Street Bridge, but they will be on Saturday. And uh, we look forward to giving you that game. For uh, the Crusaders, their next game is going to be uh, on Tuesday, January 31st, when they go out to uh, Elkhart Lake, Glenbula. You're familiar with that yep. neighborhood. And then uh, for... Uh, the Rockets, they're going to play uh, Keel in a non-conference game next Tuesday. Big game also for uh, Sheboygan Lutheran is upcoming, and that'll be uh, when they have to uh, take on Howard's Grove on February 3rd in Howard's. That may be the one that they need to clinch it. Look, Look out, out below. Decker with a nice layup. Didn't try to slam it, just went for the basket and got it in. He's 15 of 23 tonight, 14 rebounds. 35 for him. Ball is tipped away. Lutheran has it. Oh my. Decker on the layup and he's fouled. What's the push from behind? Well, he had the offense defensive thing in, Chris, but uh, didn't work out. No, and I think the ball was tipped so he didn't have to uh, do that, but here's just a bad, you know, again, a dangerous play there. Novak and uh, Grayson Pfeiffer were in the game. And Sam puts it in, 38 points. I told you they wouldn't get to 73 points. They're at 74. And uh, Zastro commits a silly foul. Normally that's a bad foul, but if you have fouls to give, that ain't so bad. Yeah, could have been worse. 110 left in the ball game. It was only the sixth team foul on Lutheran. Abing gives it off, but uh, Ruppel couldn't find the shot. Abing, layup attempt is no good, but he's fouled. Wheeler, I think. Richard Bartson giving you that shot. Eric Wiesman on the floor camera. Scott Mailoff in the truck spinning the dials. Chris Wright providing the color and I'm the play-by-play uh, -play guy, Mike Martin. And, uh, we're having a good time giving you the game. It's been a good one. Uh, Cedar Grove Belgium has uh, played very, very hard. And quite well for the most part. Juris on a little cherry pick gets two. Six rebounds for uh, Wheeler tonight, too. Shot is no good. Wheeler Seven. on the board. Oh, what a pass. Wheeler again. Oh, man. I don't think we'll have enough time. Oh, we will. Maybe we can take a replay of that, Scott. That was awesome. And then a turnover by the Rockets. Watch this pass. Ugh. Don't foul. Ooh. Don't foul. Hobbing goes down hard. Do foul. Hobbing got the line. His last trip, he made one out of two. He missed that one. Well over 50% for Lutheran tonight. 28 for 47 from the floor. Eight for 14. Well, it was a five-point game not too long ago, Marty. No, you're right. Yeah. 
Rolling down to 20 seconds left in the game. Zastro went off of Black. That's a good call. There you're going to see right here. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Official did the right thing. He called it black. He just pointed the wrong way. Good job by the official there. I actually thought it went off the black foot, but uh, when we saw the replay, it was, looked like it probably went off of uh, Zastro. Tyler had to give the ball up that time. A little too much dribbling. Abink rounding off. Wheeler wow. with the board. Eighth one for him. And Lutheran pulls it out, and they're going to come away with the 13-point win, 78-65. to 65 in, uh, What was a very entertaining game. Chris is going to uh, go over and see if he can get a couple of the uh, Crusader players, and I got a couple of uh, fans from over at uh, Pigeon River behind me. They're waiting to get on TV. And uh, we're going to step out, and we come back. Chris will have a couple of the Crusaders, and we'll uh, give you some scoring and uh, wrap this game up. This close to changing the world. We are this close. We are this close. This close to making sure no child suffers a crippling disease ever again. This we close. are this close to ending polio. This close to ending polio. All we need is you. Is you. Is you. This close. Be a part of history at rotary.org. Never look a howler monkey in the eye. Fried ants are delicious. We finished a clinic in our in a rainstorm. Really? My students actually ended up teaching me. In La Keg, a la Keen. Think managing a sales team is tough. <laughs> Try working with five different villages. After two months, I was ready to quit, but after two years, I didn't want to leave. I didn't know I had it in me. Turn two years of service into a lifetime of experience. To all the Peace Corps volunteers, past, present, and future, thank you for your service to your country and the I'm Owen Yeoman for Peter. I used to eat a lot of meat. Like a lot of people, I never really gave it much thought. But then I saw how violently animals raised for food are treated, and I didn't want to support that. The fact that the meat on my plate was once a living, breathing creature became something I could no longer ignore or justify as food. So I stopped eating meat, just like that. And my body and my conscience feel healthier for it. I'm Owen Yeoman, and I'm a vegetarian. I've got my own problems to worry about. Those people in Africa don't want to help themselves. What's the point? Where's the proof? Actually, smart programs are saving lives. In just 10 years, over 15 million more kids are alive. All less than 1% of the total U.S. budget. How's that for proof? And today there are new vaccines that could save millions of more kids. Go to one.org and join the movement. We're not asking for your money. We're asking for your voice. When you're behind the wheel, always watch for people walking and biking. It's Wisconsin law to give bikes at least three feet when passing. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. People ride bicycles to go places, get exercise, reduce pollution, save money, and have fun. Watch for people riding bikes when you're driving. Share and be aware, we're all responsible. Back at Lutheran High School where uh, the Crusaders came away with a 78-65 to victory. Standing by with a couple of the winning Crusaders is Chris Wright. Take it away, Chris. Welcome back, everybody. We're Tyler Zastro, Josh Wheeler. Real pesky rocket squad tonight. You came out with a victory. Yeah, they really did. Uh, they were, there were some really tough fighters out there this game, and uh, they, were, they were pushing a lot. They are a bit, bit stronger than we are, but uh, we were able to get some rebounds and do a good job in the paint. So. Yeah, big team. They did pretty well in the football season. A lot of those guys were pretty strong. I thought that you guys did a great job. I know you had eight rebounds tonight, and, you know, rebounding is key, and I think the whole team really helped out there tonight. Yeah, they were pushing us around a lot. Uh, they're a lot bigger than myself, especially. Um, but, I mean, we were getting the position we needed to get, the boards that we needed to get, and we got the job done. I know it's same old story. You hear it all the time. Oh, Sam's going to get points. We've got to get contributions. 
couple of you guys hit some threes tonight to, to help loosen up the paint a little bit. Yeah, Sam can always get his points, and uh, I think it's key that the rest of our team can get ours if we need to. I mean, like tonight, Sam, I mean, he could score. He was doing a really good job, but on the games when we're going to need the rest of us, we're all there to hit our shots. We're all pretty good shooters, so that'll be good later on in the season. And you, uh, you helped me out there, too. I said, you know, you guys are up by five. I think we should pound it inside, and you knew you hit a three. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> okay, that, that felt really good. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if I was supposed to shoot that, but... I felt it. I felt like it was going in. Let her go, and it was good news. So. Well, uh, my partner, Mike Martin, said, oh, just let Josh Wheeler take care of things, and he took care of it there. Yeah, that was, that was the plan. Thanks. It's been an incredible year for you guys. Chance at a uh, conference title. What would that mean for you? Conference title. Oh, man. feels great. It would be awesome to do. Um, I think we have the team to do it this year, so we'll keep fighting and working hard in practice. Well, congratulations with you. We're going to see you in a week or so. Tyler, I'll tell you what, you really matured over the year. We had saw you early on, and a lot of the guys were real young, but, I mean, you guys had a nice team last year as well. Oh, yeah. For JV, we got a couple guys like Jeff Hess, Phil Lightbomb, and then we even got a freshman, Jake Jer, stepping up, hitting some big shots. So it was nice when we got a D1 recruit, and then we got, like, Josh Wheeler hitting clutch threes. And you got me pouring in 10 or whatever a game. Just nice. Big difference from JV ball to varsity ball when you first started off, or, or did the summer stuff kind of help a little bit? Uh, the summer stuff did, like, the, the pace of the game, but you're never really going to get used to strong guys like seniors and all them battling you and stuff. What about big guys like those Cuba City guys? <laughs> yeah, I still got a couple marks. <laughs> that was an exciting thing. You know, again, your maturity as, as a young group and things to get better, and as, you know, the season ends and chance for a conference title and, and uh, the tournament, of course, you know, the more you guys get better every week, it's obviously going to help you guys. Wait, what? Well, are you going to help you guys by, you know, playing every week and practicing every week? Going to help you guys out? Oh, yeah. We're, beginning of the year, we're like, it's state or bust this year. So, a couple of turn games like Oostburg really got us fired up, ready to. What's it like to play in all these big crowds every week? It's awesome. We know they're here kind of to see Sam, but when we get, like, me and Josh kind of showing what we got, this is great. Hey, I went and saw you guys play down in Mequon, and a buddy of mine said that, he was he was always remembers your name, not just that Decker name. So that's so you make impressions too a little bit. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't just the turnovers either; it was your baskets too. What? It was your your baskets too, not just your turnovers. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's always nice when Sam passes the ball. Uh, you guys work well together too. I love the way you feed him and stuff. That's got to be a ball for you. I feeding started. feeding all those lob passes to him as well. Yeah. We got a couple people on Twitter going Lob City and stuff like that. It's great. <laughs> well, congratulations, Tyler. Congratulations, Josh. Uh, with that, we'll send it back to Marty. Cedar Grove was a four-handed monster tonight. They really played well, uh, just didn't have quite enough to beat the Crusaders, but they were led by Travis Aubink with uh, 18 points. Jonathan Herzog was a real force inside. He uh, had 14 points, and then chipping in with 13 each was Josh Ruppel and uh, Kyle Kirst. Uh, game's leading scorer and the state's leading scorer and our leading scorer Sam Decker had 38 tonight uh, Tyler Zastry just saw him on the interview there chipped in with 19 and uh, Josh Wheeler also on the interview trail uh, chipped in with 11 uh, Jacob Juris off the bench had uh, eight points so it was a good effort tonight by the Crusaders uh, like I mentioned Cedar Grove was always right there but uh, the Crusaders always had an answer, and they came away with a 78-65 to victory. Our next game, we mentioned it before, but I'll mention it once more. It'll be Saturday, February 4th, when uh, Sheboygan North travels down to South for the uh, North-South game. We'll have the girls' game starting around 6 o'clock, and then uh, the boys' game following that. For the crew, Eric Wiesman and Richard Bartson on camera, Scott Mailoff, our director, and my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.